It's Becky. I'm back with a super fun video for you guys today and it's actually a collaboration with some other amazing YouTube moms that I have never collaborated with before so it's really exciting. This collaboration was actually started by JDA. If you know who she is, she is a really amazing homeschooling mom here on YouTube. She does vlogs, she has healthy eating and meal prep videos, she has amazing homeschooling videos, and she's just a really all-around well-rounded channel with topics that pretty much any mother would find useful. Also in this collab is that chick Angel. She's got such a funny and fun personality. She really keeps the humor and motherhood, which I think is so important because sometimes we can definitely take ourselves too seriously as mothers. And she's part of this collaboration as well, as well as Nicole from Half Mom, Half Amazing. She's got great homeschooling videos, craft videos, and I think you'll really enjoy her channel as well. So all of us kind of are gonna have our own take on cooking with the kids. So today, in my video, I'm actually gonna be sharing a recipe with you guys for DIY dog treats. This is something I wanted to find for our dog, Loki, to make him some homemade, as natural as possible, dog treats. I just think it's really fun. I know my girls love cooking with me, and especially when it was something for our dog, they thought that was really fun. And I think now is a really good time of year to have this recipe on hand because it's not only good to give your own pet as a gift, but also if you've been invited to a party, it's a fun way to include that family's pet. Like if you got invited to a party and now you know that family has a pet, I think it's a really fun and cute idea to go ahead and make their pet a gift as well. Loki loved his and we were actually pet sitting his brother Bogey that day and so Bogey was here as well. And so we had two guinea pigs to test out the recipe and they both loved them. You wanna keep in mind though, this recipe does have eggs in it so you wanna make sure you cook it really thoroughly. And then also, just like you would any, any recipe you'd make for yourself, that has fresh ingredients and you can't just make a huge pile of them and leave them for, for weeks on end. I would recommend making either a small batch and usually giving them, you know, finishing them up throughout the week. Or if you're gonna make a larger batch to freeze um, a lot of the extra so that you only have a couple at a time so they don't go bad. Other than that, this recipe was super simple. You just need two and a half cups of rolled oats, half a teaspoon of salt, one egg, and half a cup of unsalted chicken or beef broth. We actually had chicken broth on hand. I don't know if it's unsalted or not, but it's organic. Um, the only thing is I did not have two and a half cups of rolled oats. I think I had to mix a little bit of old fashioned like quick oats with um, the rolled oats. So it's kind of a combination of both, but they, they turned out really good and they, they didn't seem to make a difference. So basically all you do is heat your oven to 325 Mix your oats and your salt and your broth and your egg in a bowl and combine really well. Pour it onto wax paper and knead the dough for a couple minutes. It's kind of sticky, um, but just lay it down on the wax paper after you have kneaded it. We actually had a metal bone cookie cutter on hand that I had from some other event that we had. And I got it at Hobby Lobby, but any shape would do. And some of them we just rolled up into like little balls and those turned out really well also. Some aluminum foil on your cookie sheet just to make cleanup really easy and you're just gonna bake them for 20 minutes and remove them from the oven and let them cool and then give them to your pets. And like I said, I think it's a really cute gift idea. I think it's really fun to make for your own pets and I think it's a really fun gift to give to any families that you know have pets for the holidays. I think it's a really great idea for a Christmas gift as well. But any time of year, it would be fun to make and the kids really enjoyed making it. Make sure you check out the links in the description box below to watch the other ladies in this collaboration I'm really excited to see what videos they made with their kids because this video, this collaboration was very open interpretation. It just had to be something of cooking in the kitchen with your kids. So I'm really excited to see what they came up with and what they're gonna be making in the kitchen with their kids. So make sure you check out those videos and subscribe to their channels as well. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.